What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 by team video, and guys, today... We are actually going to release this video because a lot of you guys do need help in this game. Uh, you guys want to know where the heck you guys should be for Blake Griffin. Well, we're going to go over everything. Before we get into the video, guys, like it up, sub it up, comment down below. If you guys do that stuff, you guys will qualify for MT giveaway. If you are, do you need MT, I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up. But yo, we got 18 days left, boys. 18 days left, ladies and gentlemen. And guys, I want to go over what XP you guys should be at. So as you guys do know, 2K, I think, did move it up about three days or two days, maybe. They moved it up about two days. So now, where should you be for Mr. Blake Griffin? Well, to be honest, guys, I want to talk about a couple things, actually. I want to talk about the big giant scam that is coming to this game around Thanksgiving. Just get ready for it. Just get ready. Um, they clearly moved up the season for one reason, okay? Um, on around Thanksgiving, Black Friday, they're going to release some crazy packs, guys. You're all going to get scammed. And I'm just telling you now that remember this day, they're about to scam the hell out of us. Like, literally, I'm telling you right now, you're going to wake up, I guess, like Thanksgiving morning and be like, yo, we just got scammed, bro. They just released some crazy for Black Friday. I just bought all this VC and got scammed. Oh, get ready. It's coming. They moved it up two days because they know Black Friday is coming. I'm telling you right now, trust me, I not I know their market schemes. They're going to release some booty packs and you guys are gonna pop them. So do not pop their packs. You must boycott VC because they don't care about their community. So do that. Now we're gonna talk about Blake Griffin. I'm just telling you about their scummy market scheme that is coming very soon. Stay patient because it is coming. I'm telling you right now. So that's number one. Um now, what I want to talk about is where you should be for Blake Griffin. Well, if you do the math, six weeks at 25k XP gets you to that 150k. All right, so six weeks. All right, so now we are actually in the fourth week, I believe, going on to the last. No, we're in the third week, going into our fourth, I believe. So we're in our fourth week, I guess, going into our fifth week, and then the last week is the sixth week. So where you guys should be. At around 14 days is where I am at 90, at least 100k. Um, I did not do any of the new XP challenges. I'll actually show you what I did so far. Uh, I didn't do anything today, literally nothing. So here's what I did. I didn't do any idols yet. I did absolutely nothing. Um, you need to be at least at 99k. So after I do this, I get a lot of XP. Something I definitely need to do. It is a lot of grinding. Not only that, guys, they made the grinding 10 times harder. Which, in my opinion, is very evil because, like, I don't understand what is the point of making the grind so much harder. It's literally just Blake Griffin. Like, Grant Hill 90, whatever they just dropped, is literally, like, low-key better than this Blake Griffin. So, like, I've been grinding hours and hours, and, like, I'm starting to regret the grind because as we go on, man, it's literally crap, man. Like, these solo challenges or XP challenges are ridiculous, so now i'm just like looking at all this stuff guys and me in my opinion i'm just not a fan of this at all like this grind right here is just crazy it's a lot this is like a 10 hour grind right here and you're not even close to blake still so like looking at this i'm not really the biggest fan of this i'm not i don't like how they're making it super hard and i don't like how they're making it empty spent because that makes you pop their packs and then they like they get mad when you buy mt but like then how are we gonna we can't afford a hundred dollars of vc like, realistically, like, you're not going to get shit from 100 VC. If you watch my pack openings, I pop packs every week. I don't get shit. I probably got lucky once or twice with, like, three pink diamond pulls. But I've lost millions and millions of MC off their packs and even VC. So, like, realistically, I think the grind is getting out of hand. It's, like, absolutely ridiculous at this point. Uh, like, four double-doubles with Westbrook. Like, why do I have to get four double-doubles with Westbrook to get 700 XP? You know what I'm saying? Like, how does that actually help me? Like, 700 XP doesn't do anything besides help you lose contracts. So, like, at this opinion, at this point, I'm going to try to get Blake. I'm going to go as hard as possible. But I just don't feel like it's actually fair on what they're actually doing to the market and what they're actually doing to our MC count and what they're doing to our pockets in general real life. So, that's how I feel. I feel like we are getting scammed. Um, there also is going to be another scam around Thanksgiving. And honestly, as a content creator, it's kind of upsetting 
because like I don't want to spend money on the game. Like I don't. I want to grind out the game and have fun. The way they're making us grind the game right now, it doesn't really go, like it really doesn't do anything. Like the only player that I actually liked is SGA, and he, realistically, if you have a pink diamond team, he's not usable. So I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about this. They're definitely getting very stingy with the challenge. It should be a lot easier. Like I mean grinding all this hours a day it shouldn't be this long guys it's a 96 overall it's one card it's gonna be outdated in like a month and i just don't think it's worth it um this is probably going to be the last season where i actually do grind for a pink diamond or opal whatever i i'm just gonna be done grinding from now on after we do get blake i am actually just going to just snipe because mt is king mt is king i'm going to work the market more and I don't know. I haven't really been working the market, and my MT count's always low. So, uh, yeah, right when we do get Blake Griffin on next gen, guys, I get next gen day one. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to be one of the first next gen YouTubers or YouTube 2K YouTubers on next gen. So, be there, guys. Um, pretty much is all I wanted to go over. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it makes sense to you. I just want to understand what do you guys think in the comments? Why the hell is the grind getting so much harder for literally just one pink diamond card with really no other rewards that are rewarding? Like it's a Hall of Fame badge, you can get the worst one. Tokens, 25 tokens doesn't even do get you an amethyst player. Um, so that's pointless. I mean, I don't know. All the rewards right now they look booty. The ascension board, you get Bob Love, he's all right, and you might not even get Bob Love. So I don't know. That's how I feel. I did get Bob Love, but other than that, man, that's all we got for the video. Enough ranting. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you be up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.